What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I got a submission back from CGC. So we're going to be checking out our grades today. So hopefully we were able to get some 10s and hopefully we don't get destroyed too, too badly. But anyways, um, before we get into that, I want to congratulate my winners on my last two giveaways. So congratulations, Jim. You got the Charizard UPC promos and congratulations, Grace. You got the Paldea starters. So those are the two winners, and then I have one giveaway going on right now, so check those out. But without further ado, let's see let's see how we did on these grades. I'm curious to see. Okay, everyone, so here we go. We're going to start. I'm going to pull these just a little bit closer. Yeah, I've got three stacks in the back, so we're going to go over together and see what grades we got. So, like I said, we graded with CGC. We'll just work our way down. So, you know, the centering on this card doesn't look too bad. Ooh, okay, this is a good one. So we've got the Mew V Max from Fusion Strike. The alternate art. It looks pretty good. The centering's off a little bit, a little thicker on the left side here. I'm gonna guess maybe a nine. Whoo, look at that. A nine five? Okay, we'll take that. It's not the ten we wanted, but I knew we weren't getting a ten because the left side's a little thick. And I just want to um, show one thing before we go through the rest of these here. Um, so make sure if you grade cards, you have graded card sleeves. I'm going to be putting those on after the video. I don't want to put you guys through that torture. All right, so next up, this card looks pretty clean as well. I'm going to make sure I get plenty of light on this for you guys. Yeah, this card's looking good. Okay, so we got the Rainbow Mewtwo V-Star. Looks pretty good. Whoa! Okay, so we did get a ten. We got a pristine ten. So you have two. You can get two tens um, from CGC. You can get a pristine ten, or you can get a perfect ten. So a pristine ten lets me know that I had one subgrade at a nine five. Perfect ten or all ten subgrades. All right, we got the zero aura from Chilling Rain, the alternate art. All right. So I I'm gonna guess probably a nine. It looks like it's a little bit thicker. On one side, you can see. All right, let's see how. Let's see what we get. You ready? We did get the nine. We did get the nine on that one. Not too bad. We'll see. Before we get too far into the video, I want you guys to take a second and maybe make a guess on which one do we get more of. Do we get more tens, nine fives, or nines? I'm willing to bet it's probably going to be 9 since CGC grades higher, and we'll tally them up at the end. Okay, so we got the Charizard V Full Art from Brilliant Stars. This card's pretty nice. I don't see anything too crazy. Maybe a little centering issue from top to bottom. Um, I'd guess a 9.5 on this one. Ooh, the 9. I wonder if there's a, there must have been a little surface something going on with that one all right next mega tyranitar ex full art ah man you know i sent this in i fully expected to get a nine on it it looks like there may be just a little speck of lightning but n nothing insane I'm, I'm gonna guess a nine you ready Woo! pulling the nine five on the mega tyranitar ex that's nice. That's very nice. All right, next card coming up. Ooh, the Gold Lugia, Silver Tempest. Still haven't pulled the alt art, but we did pull this one, and I was really excited to get this one graded. It looks clean. I had full expectation on an, at least a nine five when we sent this in, and we got it. Let's go. Let's go. I love this card. N not a super valuable card, but I still I still love the card. Alright, we got the Mega Rayquaza EX Full Art. So it definitely looks like the centering is a lot thicker on the right side here. But I didn't see anything b before I sent it in. Alright, let's check the centering on the back. So maybe just a little bit of whitening in this corner here. Nothing insane. Maybe, maybe just a little bit on the corners. I would guess maybe a 9. Ooh, all the way down to the eight. That's unfortunate. That's still an awesome card. I'll, I'll still take it. 
All right, so uh, we got a Japanese card coming up here. What Japanese card do we have? Okay, we have the Gengar. So I, I just graded this one because I like the card. You'll see three Japanese cards in this. Um, I'm fully expecting to probably... Oh, wait. There might be a little something up here. I'm going to... You can kind of see that little grayish. That that might be a little damage to the card. Let's see if we pull like a 7 or something. Oh, okay. We still got the 8-5. But, you know, I didn't notice that when I submitted the card. I was just very excited to have this. But, yeah. That, there's definitely a little something going on up there. Alright, next stack. So, we made it through one full stack. We got two stacks to go. I submitted 26 cards in total. Okay, so we got the Blastoise from Celebrations. I graded this once again for my personal collection. This wasn't so much worried about the value, but I enjoyed the Celebration set. So I'm going to go ahead. It looks clean. Maybe a little off-center. Nine. Ooh, got the nine five. Okay. I'll, take, I'll take the nine five. It's such a clean card. I actually have another submission coming back. Um, it's only six cards, but they are alternate art VMAXs and Vs featuring the sets of Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies. So be on the lookout for that. I'm just waiting for them to come back. I can't wait for this video. So we got the Charizard now. I would like to see this in at least a 9.5 so we can have the same as the Blastoise. But I would prefer a 10. I think we can pull the 9.5. It looks clean. Centering looks good. No whitening on the back there. Alright, do we get it? Here we go. Ooh, we got it. We got it. Okay. So we got the the 9.5 Charizard and the 9.5 Blastoise. I know there's a Venusaur in here, so can we get the full set in the 9.5? And for anybody who doesn't know, CGC is very tough on their grading, so... That a 9.5 is, I would assume, pretty much a PSA 10. That's just an assumption, though, so don't hold me to it. So we got the Glaceon Altar. I love this card. It looks so good in the slab already. Um, may, um, let's see. It's looking good so far. It is definitely looking good so far. Maybe... Can we pull a 9.5 on this? Maybe a little edge, a little something on the edge up there, possibly? See if we can pull the 9-5. Ooh, the 9. Okay. That's uh, that's okay. That's still a gorgeous card. You got the Mint 9. Set that to the side here. What's what's going to be next on the list? We got some nice cards coming. Speaking of nice cards, got the Umbreon V alternate art. I think this one is going to be just a little off center here. Uh, you can kind of look in this corner. Sorry, my light. I need to do something about the lighting for a video like this. But there's a little bit of off centering going on. It's like they picked up, like the picture of the card is just offset just a little bit, like as it's turned. Um, back looks clean, no crazy whitening, maybe a little thicker up top in this corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to get another nine on this one. And it is, it's the nine. Still nice, still a gorgeous card, still very, very clean. But these two cards look very nice together. And I'll take the nines. I'm going to be grading all of the big cards from Evolving Skies. You'll see some here and you'll see some later. But like I said, that next video is going to have some of the Altar and Art VMAXs. So be ready for that. The Lycan Rock. This is just one of my personal favorites. You got the Hidden Fates, Shiny Vault, Full Art. Um, honestly, I think the centering was off when I graded this one. I would say a 9 or a 9.5. Let's go with a safe 9 on this one. And it is the nine. That's okay. This is this is something that I just wanted to add to my personal collection. I've got a few in the, on the shelves behind me. Maybe one day I'll just kind of just show off um, in one of my videos some of my favorite graded cards. All right. So we got the Inteleon. I graded this one for the girl. She, my girlfriend, she loves Inteleon, and she's got a card that I really want in a perfect ten. So I just want to see if I could. Maybe you're a little jealous with the 10. So let's, let's see. I think, is Karma going to come back to bite me or are we going to at least pull a 9-5 pull a on this one? It looks pretty good on the back. So let's see. Um, 
Maybe we can pull in. I'm thinking 9 5 on this one. Ooh, the 9. Okay. Maybe maybe a little something in that corner up there, but yeah, that's a clean card. So we can't we can't make her too jealous by initial. I might just give her that to make her happy. Ooh, the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max alternate art. It's a gorgeous card. It looked clean. I had full intentions on possibly getting a ten, no lower than a nine five. The centering's very very nice on this card. No whitening. All right, what do we get? Bang! Let's go. Pristine 10, Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX. That is a nice card. That's a gorgeous card. Wow. So happy to see this come back in a 10. When you get a 10 from CGC, it is a true 10, let me tell you, because they are tough graders. Ooh, the Charizard VMAX. So I actually have one of these on my shelf behind me in a 9.5, and I was hoping to pull a 10. We'll see if we could pull a 10 here. Everything's looking good. We might be able to do it. Maybe a little off center right here. You can kind of see it a little bit. All right, here we go. What do we got? Come on, ten. Nine five. Okay, so I got two nine fives in the collection now, but that's okay. I'll probably just use use one of them as a trade bait kind of thing. I've got my eye on a few cards for Evolving Skies to finish up my master set. All right, Charizard V Max. I graded quite a few Charizards, so hopefully, hopefully we get some ten, at least one Charizard and a ten. All right, so nine five. Ooh, the nine five. Okay, I I knew it was clean. I just didn't think the centering was there to be the ten. All right, so we got another Japanese card here. Ooh, the Charizard and Leon. Love this card. Just one of my favorite cards from Vmax Climax. Not super expensive. Hopefully we pull the 9-5. We did. Okay. We pulled the 9-5. Nice. We will take that. Hoping for a 10 on that card, but I will not argue with a 9-5 because that is clean. All right. What do we got coming up next here? Ooh, the Leafeon V Full Art Alternate Art. This is a beautiful card. I see... It looks pretty centered. I don't see anything like too crazy on it. it looks good on the back. No whitening at all. Can we uh, nine five or ten? Hopefully the ten. Possibly the nine five. Ooh, the nine five. Okay. As long as it's not that nine. That nine five is gorgeous. Whew. Such a beautiful card. Beautiful. I love the alternate arts from Evolving Skies. All right. Ooh, this is a good card. The Mega Charizard EX from Evolution is a full art. Man, imagine getting. Imagine if this is a 10. It's clean, too. It is absolutely clean. No whitening on the back. Alright. Can we get it? Ooh, a 9.5. That's clean. I, I'll take the 9.5. I will take the 9.5. Man, that's so nice. Just one of my one of my favorite cards that I have. Had to get it graded. Pulled a good grade. Always feels good. Oh, here's that Venus where we talked about. Alright. We want a 9-5 so we can have the big three from celebrations and a 9-5 set. Can we do it? I mean it looks clean. Centering's a little thick on the right side there. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm probably gonna. I think we might end up getting a nine on this, just because of the centering. Hopefully, we get the nine five. Ah, oh, it's the nine. So, I'll have to grade another Venusaur and see if we could pull a nine five. But it's still a clean card and looks nice overall. If you guys are enjoying this kind of content where I send in cards to get graded and we go over them together, let me know. Um, I'm definitely looking. I could definitely do this again. So leave a like if you enjoy this kind of content for me. I definitely appreciate it. So we got the Greninja GX from the Shiny Vault from Hidden Fates. Greninja is one of my favorites. Hoping to pull a 10 in this. Pro looking like it's going to be like maybe a 9, 5, 9. You see how thick it is. The center is a little off. It's a little thicker on top. I'm going to say that's probably going to get us down to a 9 with that centering. Here we go. Like I said, not all my cards I grade are for 
trying to get a 10, making crazy, adding crazy value. Some of them I just really like the card. So here we go. Ooh, the Mint 9. Okay. Greninja. The Greninja looks really good in this. Just like the Glaceon alt art. I think it looks really good in the slab. All right. We're, we're winding down. We got a few cards. Ooh, the... We're winding down. We got a few cards left. Sorry, I get very distracted. So we got the Charizard Rainbow V Star from Brilliant Stars. And I just want to let you guys know I pulled pretty much every single card here. I think there's only maybe two that I did not pull in this collect in this entire grading. So it the, I'm very lucky with like the the quality I pulled. So I have this card in nine. I wanted to upgrade the nine. Give us the nine five. Yes, we got the 9.5, so we were able to upgrade it. I have a 9 behind me, so that will also be going up for a trade at some point in time. Like I said, there's I'm trying to finish up my Master Set of Evolving Skies. I got four cards left, one of them being the Moonbreon, so I got to have some some definitely, some definitely definite hitters to try to get that card. Ooh, we got the Pikachu. I love this from Dark Phantasma. It's the character rare. It looks good. It's very clean. All right, how do we do? Do we get it? Do we get a 10? I hope so. We need we need another 10. I'm cool if we get like three 10s. Ooh, we got it. We got the pristine 10. We got it. Okay. No perfect 10s today. We got two cards left. But this is still a really cool card. And I love seeing the, seeing the pristine. Alright. Two cards left. Can we pull another 10? Ooh, the Charizard V from Champion's Path. This card is sick. I think um, it looks a little thick on top in terms of the centering. Just a little thick. So maybe a nine. Yeah, unfortunately it was the nine, but that is a very, very nice card. I love this card. I remember I pulled it out of, um, oh, what was the box? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, I can't remember the box. I remember... That I actually um, got the box at Target in Amherst, Ohio. So I can't remember the name of the box. I think it was the double box, but. Alright. Mewtwo Gold. What are we gonna do with it? Are we gonna get it our third 10 today? 9 5. I think we got, we got three tens already. I lost count, but this is a very nice card. I love it. The Mewtwo V Star Gold. Okay, so I, I hid my face real quick so you guys could check it out. We did end up pulling more nine fives than nine, which is awesome. We had a very, very, very nice return. So I'm happy with that. We only had two cards come back below a nine, and I'd say that's pretty successful. I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I, I definitely had fun with this one. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the graded card return. I'm def I could definitely do this again. I do have six more cards coming. I sent them in because they had to be graded under a different tier. They should hopefully be back sometime this week. Um, they have the Glaceon VMAX Altar. I think I have two of those in there. The Leafeon Altar. The Charizard V from Brilliant Star Alt. I'm sorry, Brilliant Stars Altar. They're all in there. Come back um, probably either later this week or next week. And we'll go ahead and do that. Once again, congratulations to my giveaway winner. Sorry for missing an upload last week. I, have a, I bought a collection Saturday, so that's another hint to what's coming up. But it's just been chaotic. Let me shorten this up. You guys have a great day. I appreciate all the support. And I'll keep giving back as much as I can. But until next time, later.